Hi, my name is Sandra Palomino. I'm Director of Historical Manuscripts here at Heritage Auction Galleries. I wanted to take a few moments to share some background information with you about some of the wonderful manuscripts we have in our upcoming October auction. We've been very fortunate to have the opportunity to work with the descendants of General John Coffey, who've entrusted us with some of the papers kept by General Coffey during his lifetime. Um, first off, I wanted to share with you uh, some details about his personal order book, which he kept during the Creek War. Coffey was a very close friend and associate of Andrew Jackson, and served under Andrew Jackson um, at this war, and was his trusted general. And this book has um, a lot of Andrew Jackson's orders, as well as battle reports given by Coffey. Probably the most notable one are Jackson's battle orders for the November 2nd Battle of Tallahatchie. Um, you know, the orders are pretty straightforward military detail, but what's very moving is Coffey's report of that battle, which he records later in the book and dates in April. Um, Coffee just gives great detail about meeting the enemy and some of the remorse he likely felt at having to um, kill the children and, and women that, that were also there. Um, that battle became, it's, it made him kind of a controversial figure, um, but just as a little background, it was at that battle that Jackson would find in the arms of a dead Indian Creek woman um, the, the young boy that he would bring back to his home and raise as his own. Um, at that particular battle, um, you'll recognize such notable figures as Davy Crockett and Samuel Houston, who fought, in, um, who fought alongside Jackson and Coffey these papers give you wonderful, wonderful background on the presidency of Andrew Jackson. Um, in particular, I wanted to call your attention to lot 35018, which is a small archive, actually not really small, but a, a good sized archive of the papers kept by John Coffey. Um, during the years 1831 and 1832. Um, during this time, um, Coffey was directed to the state of Georgia by President Jackson to begin negotiations for a treaty that would free up land for white settlers to move in. Um, it's a wonderful group of papers. It includes, um, most notably, a couple of the maps drafted by Coffey that detail some of the lands in question, as well as letters received by Coffey, both from um, people in the federal government as well as the tribes that were being affected by these treaties. Another fun group that you're going to find is a group of letters, um, 10 letters written by Mary Coffey to her family back home in Tennessee. Um, all of these letters are written during her visit um, in Washington to either, you know, she's either visiting with Jackson um, during the inauguration or um, at, in the early part of his presidency. And she just, you know, gives a lot of detail about the goings on, um, you know, Jackson's state of mind, Jackson's health, um, some of the scuttlebutt that's going on in the White House. And you may actually recognize some of these papers as um, John Meacham used them in the writing of his biography, American Lion. But, you know, please take a moment, and when you're searching through the auction, if you put in John Coffey as um, the keyword in search, it'll pull up all of these great, great lots um, that I just can't tell you enough about. Um, just one more that I wanted to share very quickly. Um, there is included um, a receipt for services rendered 
for medical services rendered to um, slaves owned by Andrew Jackson. So again, we're just sort of getting all views of, of what was going on um, in, in Andrew Jackson's life, even though these are the papers of, of John Coffey. Um, as an intimate of Jackson's, he was privy to all of the goings on in, in Andrew Jackson's life. Um, where you know business, personal, his presidency, um, and it's it's a fun group. So you know, please, I'm, I'm sh this is just too short of time to, to share it all, and I look forward to hearing from you um, either by phone or by email, and I would be happy to to go into further detail about any questions that you may have. Thank you.